So uh, the world is now, from Tokyo perspective, the world is shifting from plan A world to plan A dash or plan B world. Plan A world uh, was the era when US had dominant power and very strong leadership in the world so that US allies, like Japan or European countries, could cheap riding on the US security umbrella or rely on US strong leadership. But in past few years, it started to erode, and Mr. Trump's uh, era uh, highlighted that trend, shifting from plan A to plan A dash. So under plan A dash world, uh, we can not only 100% count on US leadership or US dominant power, but the US allies and partners have to do, have to make more contribution to sustain US military or security commitment to Europe and in the Pacific. So in that context, Japan decided to launch uh, the biggest military buildup after World War II. So Japan will double its defense budget in five years. And also Japan is uh, reaching out to a country like Australia, South Korea, India, and also France and UK to enhance security cooperation to support or sustain US commitment. So this is not plan B, but that this is kind of like a plan A dash. Yeah, we not just, not just keep Cheap, uh, cheap relying on U.S., but that do more to complement a U.S. Uh, presence. So that is a, a world we are facing now. So when the policeman or prosecutor both do not exist in the world or in your community, the security situation will start to deteriorate. So President Obama declared that U.S. will not play the role of world policeman anymore. It was 2013. And there is a continuation, continuity since that Obama era, Trump and Biden. There is a continuing uh, decline of relative U.S. power to contain the conflict in the world. So now we do not have a strong world policeman anymore. So what we are witnessing in Ukraine or Middle East or Azerbaijan, uh, Armenia are the symptom, symptom of this change. This is not necessarily cause of problem, but the root cause is that we are not, we do not have a strong world policeman anymore. And then as a symptom, we are witnessing more and more conflict. So unless we tackle with this root cause issue, maybe we will see more conflicts or more disrupted international world order. Japan started to perceive climate change, not only an environmental issue, but it's a security or maybe even it's existential issue because due to the climate change, Japan is suffering more destabilizing weather, uh, flood and massive rain, or very, very heated summer that is causing many, many problems. So climate change is not an environmental issue, but the climate change is an existential security issue that we have to tackle with. That is a, a growing uh, recognition in Japan. Yeah. Security, that means food security. Uh, security, security, yeah, yeah. Food security and also if there, are, there will be a more flood, many people will die. So it's indeed human security issue.